My name is Patricia Davis and I'm a Future for Nature Award winner this year and I've been doing lots of different marine research projects over the last few years but really focusing on endangered marine species, in particular the dugong. So for this particular award my work focuses on the Western Indian Ocean and the islands of Madagascar and Comores where the species is actually declining very rapidly and we're working towards some conservation efforts. I've always been interested in the natural world and from a young age I was always out collecting insects and fish and various animals and, and so in the end I decided to study zoology but I always wanted to go to the tropics and to study in areas of high biodiversity so I then decided to go over to Australia and the Pacific Islands and that really incentivized me to continue with nature conservation, particularly marine conservation, because there's a, obviously incredible marine ecosystems there and a lot of traditional knowledge amongst local communities about the species that live in their waters. I'm originally from London, I was born in London, but after graduating from zoology in the UK, I went to Australia and since then I've lived in many places in the world. I often come back to visit my family, but I'm living in close to where I do projects. We are working towards protecting the wider marine environment as well as focusing on the dugong itself because the dugong is a species that is quite far ranging and it moves between various areas in shallow coastal waters and therefore we have quite a large area to work with when we're working towards dugong protection and we need to focus on habitats as well like seagrass beds which are really important not only to dugongs but to local fisheries and because we work in a very community-centred manner we need to really understand and acknowledge people's needs in those areas so their dependence on fisheries as well. I think I've been inspired by many different people working in nature conservation across the world from a young age from watching nature documentaries by David Attenborough through to reading about early explorers and their work with specific species on land as well as on sea and um, also I was inspired by Jacques Cousteau in terms of when I got interested in diving and the underwater world and that early exploration that went on. So I think a whole host of characters have really led to inspire me in my work. So I think, yeah, winning this award is really quite a personal achievement after many years of work and it inspires me to continue my work in the future. I really enjoy working with my colleagues overseas. I work with young conservationists in Madagascar and Fiji and the Philippines and Comores. And that's what really gives me a lot of satisfaction is working alongside one another and trying to come up with solutions to really quite complicated conservation issues in those particular countries. So my dream is to see more people um, enable to carry out conservation locally and really see some good impacts for many species and ecosystems. When I found out about the award I wanted to apply for it because it focused on species conservation and there aren't many awards that really focus on species. There's been a lot of movement towards ecosystem based management and habitat based work so seeing that this was particularly spe species orientated I was attracted to apply for it and um, I didn't really think I had a chance of winning it so I was very surprised and happy to find out the good news. Yeah, this award will make a lot of difference to our work because we're about to trial some innovative ways of implementing species conservation on the ground hand in hand with bringing communities benefits in terms of better health services and education opportunities and access to markets. So the particular project that I proposed for this Future for Nature Award will be happening in Madagascar this year. So the award is really going to help us take that project forward. We've got a lot of information now on dugongs and their habitats, but we really need to start taking action at the community level. So this award will be fundamental in making sure we do that. 
So the project that we'll be trialling is called Environmental Mortgages Project and we're working with our partners Advanced Conservation Strategies who have developed this concept but we now need to implement it on the ground. So our money will be going towards quite in-depth surveys in the community to find out what their needs are in terms of whether it's health or education benefits that they want to see happening on the ground. And then we're going to, it's going to be a long process in developing performance indicators for species conservation and marine stewardship in general. So they will need to decide what um, actions they're going to take on the ground for species conservation and there'll be a monitoring system which will be linked to benefits for the community in terms of access to markets and for example school teachers salaries being paid and health services that they don't currently have so the award will go into quite a long consultation period at the beginning and then establishment of a committee within the community and from there we'll be actually trialing implementation of the work and there has to be performance monitoring in terms of the social and economic side but also the ecological side so there'll be data collection and then analysis and we'll have to make sure the project's on track all the way along. The future of nature conservation I think really needs to focus on the human elements and trying to reach a balance between development which is obviously taking place on a massive scale in some areas and also not losing sight of the focus on species as well because we often think we'll protect areas but we don't really focus on those particularly endangered species and on a daily basis there are species that are facing extinction, there are ones that have gone extinct recently and will be going extinct in the next few years unless we really try to work with local people and really have incentives I think for people to be working on species conservation locally and for the long term rather than on short projects which finish after one year and then the situation slides back to one that is quite threatening for that particular animal.